G'day Smoke and Dagger fans. Do you love the outdoors? Well, here at Smoke and Dagger, we do. And that's why we've got the Solo Stove Pie Pizza Oven. Now, you may have heard of Solo Stove from their outdoor bonfire fire pit range, but they also have ventured into pizza ovens. And we're gonna open this one up, see what's inside, see how she cooks. Stick around. Let's do an intimate close-up. When you're dropping a couple of hundred greenbacks on a pizza oven, you're gonna want some quality packaging and that's what Solo Stoves have delivered here. I love that ridged cardboard and that rich texture feeling you get on your fingertips. Oh yeah, can't wait to unbox this thing. So the Solo Stove Pie Pizza Oven differentiates itself from competitors by being a smoke-free pizza oven. So it's ideal for that outdoor kitchen or maybe that alfresco area, which doesn't have the best ventilation. Now, as per the rest of the Solo Stove packaging, you get these three commandments. First one we have is light and preheat. So like any pizza oven, it's gonna perform best at a very high temperature. So you're gonna to wanna to preheat this and although the guidance on the box says 15 minutes, we're probably gonna allow closer to 20 to 30 to make sure it's a really high temperature before we insert the first pizza. Second is launch and turn. So because the heat source is coming from the back of the pizza oven and you're getting direct flame onto your pizza, you're gonna actually need to rotate the pizza itself. Otherwise you're gonna risk burning and overcooking one side of the pizza while the other is left uncooked. Third, remove and enjoy. Whether you're hosting for a bunch of friends or maybe just having a solo pizza on a depressing Wednesday, enjoy, it's pizza. So we get some nice swag. Uh, coming along with the instructions. So this is the Solo Stove Pie. Also to note, it's the version 1.0. So unlike the Bonfire, which has already had a significant revision to version two, this is the OG pizza oven. So straight off the bat, we've got two excellent weighted pizza stones. Now these are gonna absorb a lot of the temperature in the base of the pizza oven and transfer that heat directly onto the dough when you're cooking your pizza. We've also got two implements, a nice catch handle. This will be for removing the, uh, the back plate of the firebox and making sure that you don't burn your hands when you're handling uh, the high temperature stainless steel. Don't know what this is. Stay tuned to find out. To mystery. So the pizza stones are quite a unique shape. So definitely not your traditional circular design. These are more like two sets of lungs. I love the simplicity of the Solo Stove packaging. You're not getting bogged down with a lot of different individual components. And in fact, Pizza Oven does mainly ship as a single unit. So there's a fair bit of weight here, approximately 14 kilograms, but not as heavy as you'd expect. And that's mainly because they've separated out the pizza stone, which is gonna take a lot of the weight of the pizza oven. I could definitely see me carrying this in a portable scenario. However, I think the majority of the time it's probably gonna live in an outdoor kitchen or some type of bench like we have here. No beard. So the pizza stones are inserted rather simply through the front opening, left hand side, and then onto the right hand side. She's a bit tight. So coming into the back here, we can see the removable back plate. This is gonna be where you load your uh, wood fuel source. Also where you can attach the optional LPG or natural gas attachment. So remember that small implement that we introduced earlier? Well, this can be used now to remove the back plate. Clever. Inside here, we've got a few more goodies. So let's open them up. So we've got our ash tray. And then finally, we've got our basket where you'll be putting your wood chips or wood splits. Really make it an easy cleaning experience at the end of the cook. And you can tell they've used elements from the Solo Stove Bonfire 2.0 here with the same sort of clever, well-engineered ashtray to make cleaning up an easy task. So when you're ready, slide in the ashtray in like that. 
and then placing your back cover on. So like many other Solo Stove products, you can see they've intelligently designed the air intake vent to be a double walled stainless steel series of circular holes. And this is gonna create a positive draft of air coming in, hitting the firebox. And that's gonna really create that nice directional airflow that will then move up and around. So intelligent design and all while this will keep the outer rim, or I guess the, the part you're likely to touch, cooler than um, 300, 400 degrees. Celsius that we're expecting this pizza oven to get to. Design, clever composition, and I can't wait to see this thing cook pizza. Check it out. So today we've used the Solo Stove Pie Pizza Oven for its maiden voyage and here's the results. What we can see is a really even cook, beautiful melting of the cheese and the base, surprisingly, held up okay even though it's an irregular shaped pizza. Don't be afraid to get in there, get your hands dirty and start flattening out some pizzas of your own because this Solo Stove Pie Pizza Oven is definitely up to the task. Can't wait to see how it tastes. Look at that puffy dough crust and a nice char on the bottom side. Not much flex, that's what you want. Slight char on the basil leaf, let's give it a taste. Mm. It's kept the base nice and light and fluffy, which is good. When you're cooking pizzas for yourself at home, it's impossible to compare them to your store-bought pizza. There's really something that comes from the wood, extra flavor, I don't know what it is, but this is a 10 out of 10. Solo stove, whatever you're doing to your pies, it's working. So if you've got any comments, questions, or want to have a chat about a solo stove product, just uh, comment down in the section below. And until next time, guys, catch ya.